Hi guys, welcome back to Alex and Andrew show. Today we are going to be reading chapter 10 of the Tiger Rising and um, he, he, they're going to get started to work and it isn't 6 o'clock and this chapter we're going to get introduced to somebody new. Hang on, let me fix the camera. Alright, here we go. I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Chapter 10. Rob was sweeping the laundry room when Willie May, Willie May's the new person in the book. She cleans the rooms and stuff. Rob was sweeping the laundry room when Willie May, the Kentucky Star housekeeper, came and threw herself down in one of the metal chairs that were lined up against the cement block wall. So she's she's the housekeeper's and stuff, and Bochamp is the owner. You know what? You know what? She said to Rob. No, ma'am, said Rob. I'll tell you what, said Willie May. She reached up and adjusted the butterfly clip in her thick black hair. I, I'd rather be sweeping up after some pigs in a barn that, than cleaning up after the people in this place. Pigs at least give you some respect. Rob leaned on his broom and started stared at Willie May. He liked looking at her. Her face was smooth and dark, like a beautiful piece of wood. And Rob liked, liked to think that if he had been the one who carved Willie May, he would have made her just the way she was, with her long nose and high cheekbones and slanted eyes. What are you staring at? Willie May asked. Her eyes narrowed. What What you doing out of school? Rob shrugged. I don't know, he said. What do you mean you don't know? Rob shrugged again. Don't be moving your shoulders up and down in front of me, acting like some skinny old bird trying to fly away. You want to end up cleaning motel rooms for a living? Rob shook his head. That's right. Ain't nobody want this job. I'm the only fool, fool Bochamp can pay to do it. You got to stay in school, she said. Else you'll end up like me. She shook her head and reached into the pocket of her dress and pulled out a single cigarette. Secret. Cigarette, I think. And two sticks of eight ball light chorus gum. She put one piece of gum in her mouth and handed the other one to Rob. Let her cigarette gar gar de, leaned back in the chair and closed her eyes. Now, she said, the scent of smoking and lot. Lyceris slowly filled the laundry room. Go out, go on and talk, tell me why you ain't in school. On account of my legs being all broke out, said Rob. Willie May opened her eyes and looked over the top of her glasses at Rob's legs. Mm-hmm, mm, she said after a minute. How long have you... How long you have it? Had have had you had that? About six months. Six months, said Rob. I can tell you how to cure that, said Willie May, pointing with her cigarette at his legs. I can tell you right now. Don't need to go to no doctor. Huh? said Rob. He stopped chewing his gum and held his breath. What if Willie May help healed him and then he had to go back to school? Sadness, said Willie May, closing her eyes and not nodding her head. 
You keep all the, that sadness down low in your legs. You not, you not letting it get up to your heart where it belongs. You got to let that sadness rise up. Oh, said Rob. He let his breath out. He was really relieved. Willie May was struck was wrong. She couldn't cure him. The principal thinks it's contagious, he said. Ma man ain't good, got no sense, Willie May said. He got lo got lots of certificates, Rob offered. They're all framed and he hung up on the, his wall. I bet he ain't got no certificate for sense, though, said Willie May. Darkly, she rose she rose up out of her chair and stretched. I got to go clean some re rooms, she said. You ain't going to forget what I told you about them legs, are you? No, ma'am, said, no, ma said Rob. What did I tell you then, she said, towering over him. Willie May was tall, the, t was tall, the tallest person Rob had ever seen. To let the sadness rise, Rob said. He repeated the words as if they were part of, of a poem. He gave them a certain rhythm, the same way Willie May had when she said them. That's right, said Willie May. You got to let the sadness rise on up. She left the room in a swirl of lyrics and smoke. After she was gone, Rob wished that he had told her about the tiger. He felt a sudden desperate need, need to tell somebody, somebody who wouldn't doubt him, somebody who was cap, capable, capable of believing in tigers. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you subscribe. You have a really great rest of your day. See you guys.